trigonometric functions for general angles. So this is angles that we're going to use um, Pythagoras theorem for. So we'll see points with x and y on the terminal side. So we can rearrange the formula and we'll have r is the square root of x squared and y squared. And then the six trigonometric functions is we've got a triangle formed. We can use sine of theta is going to be y over r. The cosine of theta is going to be x over r. And the tangent of theta is going to be y over x. The cosecant of theta is reciprocal of sine, so it's going to be r over y. And the secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so that's going to be r over x. And then the cotangent is reciprocal of tan, so that's x over y. Now the values for x and y on the denominator can never be zero, otherwise they'll be undefined values. So let's look at an example, example one. So the terminal side of theta in standard position contains the point at minus eight, minus six. Find the exact value of all the six trigonometric functions of theta. Draw the angle and find the value of r. So we're going to draw, okay, label our axes, find our triangle. And then we can put the the values into the Pythagoras uh, formula. So we've got our x is minus 8 and y is minus 6. And we'll use this to find r, which is the hypotenuse. OK, so r is 10. So we're going to use those values so we can substitute them into our formula for each of our functions to find the values. So we know x is minus 8, y is minus 6, and we found r is 10. So sine of theta. is y divided by r and cosine of theta is x over r So the tangent of theta is y over x. OK, we've got our values now. So the reciprocal functions, so cosecant, r over y, and that's going to be 10 over minus 6. On a secant to theta, r over x, and that'll be 10 over minus 8. And the cotangent to theta is x over y, and that will be minus 8 over minus 6. We can simplify those further in our calculator. Example 2. 
So the terminal side of theta in standard position contains the point at minus 3, minus 4. So find the exact value for all the six trigonometric functions of theta. So it's in the third quadrant. This is minus 3, minus 4. And we form our triangle. And then we take the Pythagorean theorem formula. So r is x squared plus y squared. You can substitute in the values. So x is minus 3 and y is minus 4. And then we can find the square root to find r. So we found r is 5. So we've got our three values. And we can use those now to find all the functions, values. So the terminal side of the theta, since so we've got x is minus 3, y is minus 4, and we found that r is 5. So sine of theta, This is going to be y divided by r. Cosine of theta. So this will be x divided by r. And tangent of theta. y divided by x okay so the reciprocal functions cosecant of theta is r over y and that will be 5 over minus 4 And then the secant of theta, r over x, and that'll be 5 over minus 3. And then the cotangent of theta, x over y, and that'll be minus 3 over minus 4. And these values can be put into your calculator and simplified further.